In all of this, how exactly do you get approval to put up a building and who should Kenyans hold accountable for the demolitions? Let's see what the process is like tonight. This is what we can tell you when you're putting up your building. It all starts with a piece of land that you buy, you're happy with it. The first step you do is you go to an architect and the architect is then able to draw your dream house, your building, and he is the person that will be solely responsible for going from one office to another to seek all of those approvals that are required. So your building is done, right? It's good, it's a drawing, you agree with it. Your architect then takes these plans that he has drawn up and then goes to a number of agencies. Now, this is a process that will happen concurrently. But first, obviously, they go to the National Environmental Management Authority, where they take a look at two issues. So they will ask you to do an environmental impact assessment test and a social impact assessment test. This is the one where they take a look at whether your property or your development will affect the environment in any way. It is actually done by environmentalists who come to the site. They fill in this form and this is submitted to NEMA. The social impact is also very important depending on the type of development that you've got. For example, you're building a hospital or a school in what is classified as a residential area. You need to speak to those who neighbor your property on the proposed site and see whether this is something they agree with. You interview them, they're supposed to sign this document. So these two are then sent to NEMA and you get two certifications, the environmental impact assessment and the social impact assessment. By the way, when all of this is happening, you're supposed to have a sign up on your property that says this is what we want to do with the property. Does anyone have any objections? Once you fulfill these two, you get certification from NEMA. This happens concurrently with you seeking um, certification from the county government who by the way will also ask you if you've gone through NEMA they'll make sure that everything is in plan where the building is and whether it uh, meets the regulations set out by the county government it sometimes varies from one county to another but the basic process remains the same after that you get a building permit so remember you've gone to NEMA you've gotten two certifications you've gone to the county government you have your building permit from here now where do you go to next to the National Construction Authority. This is a government agency that is the chief regulatory authority for construction in the country. They will seek to see if you've got the certification from NEMA and from the county government. The process happens online. So you will upload all of those certifications online. By the way, you have to indicate all the consultants that are working on your projects, the engineer, the architect, the contractor, the fundies. They will also check for safety regulations. And when you do that process online, they take the registration numbers of all of these consultants and make sure that one, they are certified to do their work, including contractors, and two, that they are the ones indeed who are working on your property. So you don't say, Yvonne is my architect, when she really isn't. So this is a process that happens online. They will check with the Engineers Board of Kenya, with the Board of Registration of Architects and Quantity Surveyors. They will then give you a compliance certificate and we'll hear then from uh, engineer a catch on just what this means all right so you have this you're good you're ready to go i do understand the nca will continue to come to your site during the process of construction to make sure you are still meeting all of the requirements by the way when you go back to nema remember they will tell you if your land is on riparian if you are near a river how much further your structure can go so you've gone through all of this you get your compliance certificate from the NCA, and then what happens? This is another process that we must mention. Doesn't always happen, but in the event that your property is near a road artery or a major highway, you might need to get some certification from the Kenya Urban Roads Authority and from the Kenya National Highways Authority. Or if you are actually near an airport, so you might be in the flight path, you might also need to get something from the Kenya Civil Aviation and by the way, if you are near a military installation, you might need to go to DOD. It hardly ever gets to this, but just for you to know in case. So once you've done all of that, your building is done, constructed, it's finished, it's complete. You go back to the county government who then issue you with what we're calling here an occupation certificate that says your building is good to go. You can have tenants, you can have residents, that sort of thing. So this is the process by which you get all of that. So the question now with all the demolitions is, who approved these buildings and who do we then hold responsible